Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Double G here. This is episode 7 of the series we're doing on the Elm Creek map. So we got a lot of things done in the last episode. First of all we put a second application of fertilizer on all the fields. So now we're looking at 100% fertilized. Uh, and then we sold the John Deere tractor, the 4755 and the welder trailer to generate some income in order to afford the chicken coop and I replaced that trailer with the cloths it's a fixed hitch so it's easier to maneuver it was a little more expensive but it's also 50 percent more capacity and we can also configure that with an extension to take it up to 22,000 liters so that was definitely a plus uh, we bought the chicken coop. You can see it over there in field 44, I think it is. That's going to wind up being a chicken yard by the time we're done. We're going to put four chicken coops over there, but we're just starting with one. And we got a dog. He's around here somewhere. There he is. There's Gulliver. Yep, and we'll check and see if he needs any food. Oh yeah, definitely needs food. Okay, got the dog fed. And what else? Uh, we put 150 chickens in the coop and gave them the wheat out of the silo. Then we progressed into December and they had started producing eggs. I want to say the first day we had about five stacks, maybe three stacks on the pallet. I can't really remember. And we had not hatched any new chickens at the time. So we went ahead and progressed into January, which is where we are now. And we had a pallet plus a stack. So they're definitely, you know, starting to produce the eggs at a pretty good rate. We checked the food. Let's go to the animals. So we started out with about 3,600 liters, and I want to say they ate 500 liters. 150 chickens ate 500 liters the first month. Then we went to 300 chickens, and they ate 1,000 liters. So when we max out at 360, I'm thinking they may eat 12 to 1,500 liters, and that may have something to do also with their age. So I'm not sure we'll have to keep a finger to the pulse, but. I think for now with 2,000 liters they'll be good until next month. And we have sorghum in the silo to feed them. But I was looking at the prices. If we look at the store, the chicken food is in the big bags and chicken food is $1,400 per 1,000 liters. We currently have in the silo 8,000 liters that we can feed them, but it sells for, I, I wouldn't go to the train, so 1604 at Feeding Grain South. So it's worth $200 per thousand liters more than the wheat from the store. And I know it's not much. But I feel like I should take every opportunity I can to make all the money that I can. So at this point, I'm thinking sell the sorghum, buy an equal amount of wheat from the store, and we should profit off of that transaction about $1,600. Not a lot, but again, got to make all the money we can. So I think that's what we're going to do first. So we have our Kloss trailer. We'll grab the John Deere. We'll drop off the cedar. Oh, wrong way. We'll hook up to the trailer and take our sorghum and get it sold. So just for reference, at this point we're at 48,241. We can see what we're at when we get done doing all of this. So we'll hook this up. 
and we will dump our sorghum. And like I said, I know it's not a lot of money, but every little bit counts at this point. So we'll take off to Feed and Grain South to sell this. It's on the very south end of the map. The train does pay higher, but there's also a vehicle leasing cost when you use the train. So I think that should be reserved for, you know, 20, 30, 40,000 liters worth of grain. So we can get this sold go to the store, buy the same 8,000 liters of chicken food, and we should have more money in the bank when we're done. I can't tell if that is frost or, no, that's probably lime on the fields that I'm seeing out in the distance. Oh. Almost took out the sun. So that's feeding grain south. Just there. It's a little extra work to make a little bit of money. That's a nice big field. That's the field we did the silage contract in. digging this trailer with the higher capacity we would have had to make two trips with the old trailer and there's an extension that will increase it an additional I think 10,000 liters it's a good trailer to have it'd be nice for a harvesting uh, for harvesting or doing a contract so if we offload this made 13,427. So what I'm going to do now is head to the store and buy 8,000 liters of chicken food and then we will see where we come out. Alright, so we're at the store. We're going to purchase the chicken food there it is how many will it let me buy at once eight so that tells you right there we made a little over 13,000 and to get the same 8,000 liters of chicken food is 9,800 so definitely made us a little bit of money there if we don't have to buy more chicken. Well, even if we did have to buy more chicken food, we would have had to anyway because we only had like 8,200 liters of sorghum. So we'll buy this. Eleven. Oh, okay. So it was 1,400 for the first bag, then an additional 9,800 for seven more bags so but still 11 two to 13 two it's a free two grand yeah we're at 50 50 thousand four hundred i believe we were at forty eight thousand four hundred or something like that also while i'm here I think I'm going to purchase a chainsaw because that tree that I do not like in the middle of the yard is going to go bye-bye. Looks like they're all $1,000. I'm a still kind of guy, so we'll grab that one. So we have a chainsaw. Okay. Let's get a little closer to the chicken feed. Pretty sure I should be able to offload it into my trailer. If not, this may get more expensive than I was anticipating. Okay. It says refill tipper. Oh yeah, we're good to go. 
this will take a second though. So I have to do one bag at a time. Filling. It's like I'm hitting the button. All right, let's try this. Yep, it's going now. It's Five thousand. Okay, we still have a bag of seed here and the container with, I want to say, 600 liters of herbicide, maybe, maybe eight. I can't remember what the capacity was. I think I definitely want to take some time in this part of the year to clean up the yard and reorganize. In the future, when we have more equipment that we've used all year long, I will probably take a day during this time of the year to wash everything, do all the maintenance, refuel everybody. Just things that you can do to prepare so that they don't catch you off guard in the middle of your busy season when you're trying to harvest. So we'll take this over and feed it to the chickens. They won't take all of it, I don't think. But it will be good to see how much they're going to consume in one month. Because I'll have the silo full and it'll be an easy subtraction. Maybe too close to the fence. Yeah. Maybe I need to be a little more off to the side. Okay. So we'll see how much I did that last time. Only dump a little and then I'll stop. Okay, so we have 974 liters left. And. Okay, 9,000 liters is the full capacity for the silo. So we'll progress another month and see if we get more eggs, more chickens, how much they eat. There's nothing really left to do schedule-wise in today, so I think we'll progress into February. We'll check the chickens. We'll get rid of that tree. And I think it's time to tear down that building and put up a shed. So, yeah, that'll be a pretty busy day. All right, so we will rest and progress into February. Oh, it looks like there may have been a little bit of snowfall overnight. frost on the ground. No snow, but everything looks super frosty. Check on the dog. Yep, more food. Always more food. There you go. 
very loud dog needs. Okay, and we'll take a look at the chickens. I know I'm doing a lot of checking on the chickens, but it's for a couple of reasons. I'm, I'm trying to get them figured out, and really not much else to do right now. So we have almost two full pallets. If we look, yeah, cannot pick them up by hand without using super strength. So we're going to need some form of maybe a front loader for the John Deere. Because we have to move that. Hey, how'd you get out? Oh, glitchy chickens. Okie doke. We'll have to get some sort of front loader for the John Deere to be able to move pallets. Plus, if we want to be able to move any of the IBCs or the pallets or of um, extra supplies we have, we're going to need something to move it with. So, let's look. All right. 1350. They ate 1350 worth yesterday. And we still have only 300 chickens, so we haven't hatched any more. All right. Let's dump the rest of what we have. Hopefully it'll last. Well, we can math it out really quick. At 1,500, we'll have almost 9,000 in there. So we might have five months, maybe six. And we will wind up harvesting the barley in about four months. So I think we should be good. Ooh, glitchy in the field. That's no bueno. All right, we'll dump the rest of the wheat we have. It won't quite fill it up, but it will free up the trailer if we need it for something. Park this back here. Don't think we'll need, well, we may need the tractor for something else today, but for the moment, we'll go ahead and put it up. And I think it's time to cut down a tree. So I do have the Lumberjack mod installed. I feel like it just makes it a little easier to cut down trees. It gives you a little more reach where you don't have to be right on top of something. Also, it will let you remove the stump with a chainsaw rather than having to go and lease a $30,000 forestry mulcher to get rid of one stump. When we do forestry, I will probably get all that forestry equipment, but for taking down the random tree here or there, I don't think it's going to be all that necessary. So the plan here is to cut this down and into small enough pieces that we can just deliver it to the sawmill and the truck. And it won't make us as much money that way, but we'll still make some money off of it. And a tree like this, it's not like a pond or a spruce where they're made for forestry and they're pretty straight with smaller limbs. This is going to be a little crazy because it's got all the, you know, branches going everywhere, but we'll work through it. Let's see how low we can cut this bad boy. Why will it not let us cut the tree? Oh that high. No? Looks like that's where we have to cut it. Really good sound effects in 22. Oh, almost got me. Alright, let's see if we can get some of these branches off. Why aren't you 
keep holding on. Oh, glitchy. I may wind up getting myself hurt here. Oh, there you go. Get over there. All right. Oh, almost got me. I think I'm safer back on up on top of the tree. Oh, we're going for a ride. Uh, not so bad. This is not smart. Oh, lucky again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off all these branches off screen, get rid of all the little hangy bits, and then we'll come back and look at cutting it up and getting it loaded in the truck. All right, so we got all of the branches cleaned off of the tree, and I left one just to show you what I was talking about. So, I mean, basically you can go through and cut anywhere you get the green, but when you have a piece on a tree like this that has, you know, the little spindly branches, you can almost always find a piece, and I'll try and pick it up and show you, where there's a weird looking joint, and it's just right there. So, let me bring it over here. And you notice how that part glitches into the ground anyway? Because it's not really there. It's just it's, there's. It's there for you to see. You can't touch it, feel it, or any of that. So there's this little funny joint right here, and that's how you'll get rid of that stuff. So let's see if I can lay it. Where, there you go, where you can see it. Part of it's in the ground, glitched out. Part of it's sticking out. If you take your chainsaw, and you notice you can't cut that, but you can cut right there. You don't want to cut through it. You just want to hit it. Wow, that actually got rid of the whole branch and sometimes it does that but you always want to look for those everything that's on the ground are solid pieces of wood that we can sell and with the lumberjack mod installed you can let's put that away just like anything else Sorry about that, I accidentally tapped into my harvester. Thankfully it was just around the corner. So as I was saying, if you get the red hand, it's too heavy to pick up. Now you'll see on my help menu, with the lumberjack mod, you could press alt and hold it, and you'll temporarily have super strength to move that. Okay. I don't want to do that, but that's how you could do it. You, you, if you're not holding down the alt, it'll go back to being a red hand. And, and I'll put a link to the Lumberjack mod in the video. I'm trying to have a running list of all of the mods that I'm using. So um, another cool thing with the Lumberjack mod is when you come up to a stump and you get the red circle, should be there you go and you hold it for three seconds it'll grind the stump for you no stump I love the way they actually have the wedge cut out like you would do when you're actually fell in the tree so we'll grab the pickup truck put up the chainsaw for now grab the pickup truck get it over here and start loading these branches into it get them sold and then we'll come back and cut the bigger stuff up and pieces that we can carry. All right. And we're 
we're still getting some glitchiness in the field. I really don't have anything time sensitive to do today. And let's see what the forecast says. Well, the forecast says it's 32. So let's try and progress a couple hours and see if we can get the glitchiness in the fields to go away because the frost should melt off. So it's 9.30 now. Still frosty. Everything should turn green pretty quickly. It's supposed to be in the mid 40s by noon. There you go. All right, we should be done with the frost there. Back it back down just to get the glitchiness going. So we can start putting this stuff, oh, didn't get it, into the truck. And then we can go sell it. So I think I'll start with all the little branches and pieces and have, it'll be a really gnarly looking load. that I didn't get. So now when I go to pick it up, that should be gone. Yep. It's hard to tell sometimes because the piece that you're getting rid of is glitched into the ground. Alright. This little piece. might actually make some decent money off this tree. Just not sure yet. Oh. Getting a little crazy with the mouse here. Trying to get this piece flipped around where it'll lay decently. take this to the sawmill. The sawmill on this map is, I want to say it's over here. Yep. So it's just past the turnoff for the farmer's market, just past the animal dealer. So let's go see how much money we can get for this. My guess is with the pickup truck, I probably could have fit a little more in there, but with the pickup truck, we're probably looking at three loads. The good thing is the pickup is pretty quick. Some decent sized branches in here. see something moving a little in the back let's do this there you go that makes me feel better not too awfully far away I probably should be getting a speed ticket about now It's almost like we're in time lapse, only we're not. Whoa. Alright. Where is our cell point? Looks like it's around back. Yep. I uh, see him. Let's see what we can get for this little bit. not the place. Maybe 
be the other one around the corner. Oh, that's probably for wood chips. No? No? I must be missing something. go to the little trigger to sell. So the branches got us 500 bucks, so we're, we're halfway home to recuperating the cost of our chainsaw. I think the bigger pieces will probably sell for exponentially more. The key is to try and make them as big as you can where you can still pick them up bigger, longer, straighter pieces of wood sell for a higher price. So eventually we'll have to get something that can pick things up, but it's pretty specialized to have a, a tool that can pick up trees. I mean, it's not like we could do it with a front loader or anything like that without a special attachment. All right. So I'll load up another load. We'll get it over to the sawmill and see how much more money we can make. Okay. It appears as though I've sufficiently overloaded the truck, but that's kind of what you're supposed to do, right? So, yeah, we'll see how much we get for this load. I'm pretty sure we can get the remaining wood in one load. We'll see. Well, in one very overloaded load. All right. Oh, that was $1,000 for that wood. That's cool. pretty good sized log to bring. Even though it was strapped down, I lost a piece of wood on the way as well. Oh, oh, through the bush. So we'll stop on the road and pick that up. I may or may not have flipped the truck off camera. And that may or may not have made me lose a piece of wood. We won't talk about that right now. Should be just up here on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, there it is. that loses something out of your truck and leaves it on the road. So the part of the tree that's left is the main trunk. And I'm afraid we're going to have to go in fairly short pieces in order to be able to pick it up. But we're going to try. So I'm thinking maybe if I get lucky four pieces Let's see. Maybe like that. 
Let's see how off base. Nope. Not gonna let me pick it up. Oh wow. I mean I get it. It's a big tree. It's pretty dense. half so let me pick that up yep yeah. yep yeah. saying that's still too heavy so that that piece and that piece are good this piece is still too heavy At this point, it's more about just getting rid of it and making money in the process. So we could have chipped it. That would have been an additional equipment cost, though. Man, the textures. So realistic. Oh, I'm not trying to cut that. Nope. Why won't it let me cut it? Let's see. It's saying it's too big to pick up, so it's got to let me cut it. Let's try from this side. Still too heavy. Still too heavy. Wow. Well, let's load what we can, then we'll deal with the pieces that's giving us trouble. I mean, I get it. That's a pretty substantial chunk of tree. Maybe we won't get it in one, one more load. Estimated the mass. It's fine art to overload in a vehicle. good that one's good this one not good okay that one's good that one's good get to where I want to get to. It'll let me pick this up now. That's going to be a load. I was wrong. And then we'll take that last little bit. I never would have thought four trips. But we are just using the pickup truck. This one, I can tell the, the truck's a little sluggish. 
So we'll see you over there, see how much we get for this, and then we'll load up the last little bit. All right, so here we are. We can jump out and see what we get. $100 for that little wood. We'll head back to the farm, load up that last little bit. We'll see you when we get back here to the cell point again. Alright. So we're back with the final load of wood. We do have the one little piece of wood that's kind of floating, which is weird, but I guess it happens. Let's see how much we get for the final load. All right, seven ninety-five. So I want to say, was that four loads or five? I think we wound up making around maybe $3,500 from that tree. If I remember correctly, we had a $500 load, $1,000 load, second $1,000 load, and $700 load. So that's three grand, 32, 33, something like that. Not bad for something that I really just wanted to get rid of anyway. We definitely covered the cost of the chainsaw. So that's nice. It opened up the back of the farmyard a little. It'll definitely make it easier to maneuver around there. I really wanted to get around to getting rid of the building in the back, but it looks like we may have to save that for the next episode because we're already starting to run a little long for this one because cutting down the tree took more time than I thought it would. It actually kind of looks bare in this area now. But I'm okay with that because it makes it easier to maneuver through and see what you're doing when you're coming around to where the chicken coops will be. So in the next episode, I think we're going to get rid of this building, put up a shed in its place, and then organize all of our pallets and chemicals and seeds, pick up what we have at the store. We'll probably have to get a front loader for the John Deere. And we'll also check on the chickens. Maybe we'll have enough eggs to sell. I'm not quite sure when the good sell time is, but I think that'll be it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching, and until next time, take care.